Good evening. Bonsoir tout le monde. We welcome you in the name of Jesus and the house of the Lord and the house of prayer. Jesus says this will be a house of prayer. So we want to start with prayer. Glory to God. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before your throne. He who has given us access to the blood upon Calvary. We want to say thank you. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for uh, having a plan of redemption before the foundation of the world. Uh, we know from your scripture that we are saved by grace through faith. This is not uh, anything that we have done, but this is a gift from you. So tonight we come to celebrate this gift, this gift of love, this gift of forgiveness, this gift that allows us to come into your presence boldly without fear, without being afraid, because we know that who our Father is. And we want to thank you, for the Word tells us if we are in Christ, then we are also in you. And if we are in you as branches, that we will bear fruit. So, Father, we thank you for this evening as we come into your presence. We seek your face. The Word tells us in Second Chronicles 7, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, seek my face, I will hear from heaven. So, Lord, we believe in that word. We believe in your promises. We believe that anything that you have said, it is true, it is correct, it is perfect. And that we who have come, Lord, we come knowing that we have fall short, uh, fallen short of your standard. Uh, so it tells us in Romans chapter 5, but Christ died for us while we were yet sinners. While we were far away, while we were yet darkness, but Jesus came as the light. He says, I am the truth, uh, the way, and the light. Anyone who comes to me will have access to the Father. So, Father, we believe that we have access to you. So we ask, like the psalmist says, you know, uh, we were sinners uh, from our mother's womb. But you want that the truth uh, be uh, stable in our hearts and our minds. Uh, so, Lord, we ask for a cleansing tonight. We ask that you wash us with the blood of Jesus. Um, in Isaiah chapter 1, it tells us that we can come unto uh, you. We can make our case. We can present our arguments. Uh, but, Father, realistically, we know, Father, that we are uh, culpable. We did uh, what, what the accuser of the brethren always be talking about. But what we do know as well is that Jesus came to die on the cross. Uh, he died not because of anything uh, that that we are uh, have done not because we are good but he came to seek and save the lost so we know we were lost we were lost in ourselves we were lost in sin we were lost in our way of thinking but now we have come into the place where our minds are being renewed to the word we are being watched daily father we ask for an outpouring of your spirit we do not want to do anything father that to impress men uh, men whatever men does and it's just for a moment but what the spirit does it lasts eternally. So Father, we want to have uh, an encounter with you. We want to touch you. We want to know you. We want to know your son Jesus Christ. The Apostle Paul says, I'm willing to lay down whatever it is, whatever was to my gain, whatever uh, reputation that I previously had, but I count them all as trash so that I may gain your son. So he said, I want to lay down my life. I want to partake in the suffering of the king, of the king of kings. I want to partake in the suffering that Jesus endured on the cross. He had no sin. He, 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 he did nothing wrong. But yet, he did not get any justice from those who had the power to administer justice. But yet, we don't have to worry about that because it tells us in Isaiah chapter 53, it is with your will, it was your good will that your son would lay down his life, that he would be mistreated, he would be beaten. But yet, the plan would still come to fulfillment because out of the many who were lost, they would be part of your family. So Father, we thank you for being members of your household. Merci Seigneur parce que Kembe non, merci Seigneur parce que sauver non, merci Seigneur parce que remet non, merci Seigneur parce que tu pensé avec nous. Parole à Dieu on l'air, nous t'en fait noir, nous t'en le roi et des promesses là, promesses que tu fais avec Abraham non, nous pas de connait là, nous pas même temps de délit, mais c'est un jour qui t'est arrivé, c'est un lait qui t'est marqué, en petite là Jésus-Christ, il était gain pour venir dans monde ça. Parole à Dieu, alléluia, dans chant 3 en verset 16, bon Dieu si tellement remet le monde. 
lui bail seul petit lui a afin que n'importe monde qui croit dans lui yo pas péri mais a bien la vie éternelle Seigneur, nous venons dans la place, dans la maison de prière. Là. Nous venons pour nous capables de lever le cœur non, devant le trône. Là. Nous lever les mains, non, Seigneur, pour nous dire que nous qui bon Dieu. Nous croyons dans vous, nous croyons dans la parole, nous croyons dans la promesse. Nous sommes d'accord, Seigneur. Jean Parole dit If anyone wants to come after me, they have to renounce themselves. They have to take up their crosses and follow me. So, Lord, we want to follow you. We know that in your house, there are many rooms. If that were not so, Jesus would not have said it. And so, Lord, we want to be prepared. So we ask for a clean heart. We ask for a renewed spirit. Father, we want to know you. We want to know Christ. We want to we wanna, uh, touch her. Uh, we want to touch her from the Holy Spirit. The Bible tells us in Ephesians chapter 2 that Jesus has broken down the wall of separation. Whatever that kept us away from you, he broke that wall down. And now we can say, fill me up, Lord, because you are building us to be a dwelling place for your spirit. So, Father, we come and we ask. We ask as it has uh, told us in Matthew chapter 7. We can ask, we can knock, we can seek. We come to seek your face. We come to offer you praise. For it tells us in Psalm 150 verse 6, that everything that has breath, praise the Lord. You are giving us breath. And so we want to praise you. We want to magnify the name of Christ. We want people to know that you are life. We want to know that in you there is hope. We want people to know that in you there, there is healing. It doesn't matter what, uh, what matter of sickness we may have. It doesn't matter what kind of problems, obstacles that we may face in this life. But we have a good shepherd. He cares for us. He loves us. Father, we pray for your anointing over this service. We pray for your anointing of all those who will be ministering, who will take your people before your throne. We ask that there will be a connection straight from heaven and that the oil of gladness will be poured upon this place and that the preacher who will minister as well. Everything that will be done in this service, let it be done for your glory. We humble ourselves and we ask for your presence. We ask for your goodness. We ask that your faithfulness be manifested and amen. We thank you. We welcome you. We praise you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Come on, say hallelujah. 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 I know we don't got much people here, but come on, y'all say hallelujah. 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 Come on, y'all come through. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. I need to hear some people that came to praise the Lord right now. Come on. Say hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Y'all raise up a sound in here. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. My name is Brother Elange, and I'm just happy to just worship with y'all. Come on. Let's just put ourselves in the, in the spirit of worship, in the spirit of praise. Come on, just take this time. Don't let nothing distract you. Come on, let's clap for this yeah. Come on, I need some energy. Come on, clap. Yeah. yeah. Oh. No, no, if you know this song, sing with me. Yeah, we love to call your name in something we cannot explain that happens when we proclaim your great name, your great name. We love to, yeah, call your name in something we cannot explain. Come on, we love to we love to call your name. Oh. Stronger, stronger. Yeah. when we 
Come on, start proclaiming who he is in this place. We call you Yahweh, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Jireh, yeah, Jehovah Jireh, hey, Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Nisi, hey, Jehovah Rapha, yeah, Jehovah, yeah. Yahweh, Yahweh, when I call your name, Come on, lift up the name of Jesus in this place. Come on, I need to hear you. Come on, lift up his name in this place. Come on, whatever he is to you, come on, proclaim it in this place. Yeah. Come on, don't wait on me. I can't, I, I don't know how he's revealed himself to you. But when he revealed himself to Moses, he said, I am. To some of you, he's, he's, he's revealed himself as father. To some of you, he's revealed himself as counselor. Take your time in this moment to just, just, just say who he is, who he's revealed himself to be to you. I see you to be caretaker, Lord. I see you to be provider. I choose to trust you. I trust you with provision, oh God. I trust you with clarity, Lord. Things change when we call your name. Things change when we call your name. Come on. I need to hear some people right now. Where's the people that God has revealed himself to? Come on. Don't wait for somebody next to you to push you. Don't wait for me to push you. This is your encounter right now. Thank you for who you are. Glory rise, glory rise. As our worship fills the sky. Yeah, glory rise, glory rise. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory rise. Come on, still talk to him. Glory rise as our worship fill the sky. Glory rise, glory rise. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory rise, glory rise, glory rise. Yeah. As our worship it fills this place. Hey, glory rise, glory rise, glory rise, glory rise. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory rise. Hallelujah. Hey, glory rise. Hallelujah. Ah, come on, fill this room, Lord. Fill this place with your glory. Glory rise. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory rise, yeah, come on. Glory rise, fill the sky. Glory rise, glory rise.
the sky. Glory rise. Glory rise. Yeah. Glory rise. Hallelujah. 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 Hey. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey. Hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Come on, I can't hear you. Say hallelujah. Sometimes it don't got to be too complicated. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say holy, holy. Yeah, holy, holy. Yeah, come on, love and adore on him in this moment. Hey, holy, holy. We love you, holy. Holy, 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 We know that prayer changes things. Amen. I don't know if you ever experienced any type of um, trials, tribulations, struggles. Uh, if you deal with, uh, especially this time frame, fears. But we're going to pray and intercede. Uh, we're going to ask God for his spirit to be uh, living in us. So that we will be what the word says. To be a light unto this world. Wherever we go, wherever we go. Uh, we encounter others that they will see Christ through us. So I invite you to join me in prayer at this time. Papa, nous qui plus haut dans le ciel là, encore nous approcher devant toi nous, pour nous capables de célébrer, pour nous capables de dire c'est vous-même seul qui bon Dieu. Parole l'a dit, côté soleil l'a levé jusqu'à ce qu'il couche, c'est pour nous l'éternel capable de bénir. Father, we come into this house knowing that when we come into this place that you are already there waiting to meet with us, waiting to speak to us, waiting to touch us, waiting to heal, waiting to restore our lives. Father, we, we ask that tonight that we would have the hands of God that would come down and touch every individual for we know Lord that each and every one of us has some type of issue some type of problem that we are encountering we don't know how to deal with them but Lord what we do know is that we serve a great God we serve a powerful God whenever we call upon your name you are always there to listen to the cry of your people we, uh, we read in the in the Psalm 145 Lord when the, the when the righteous cry when, when the poor cries you listen and you come and you intervene on their behalf so, Father, tonight we answer for your presence. We ask for the presence of the Holy Spirit. We don't want to live our lives uh, feeling empty, feeling dissatisfied, uh, feeling like we are lost. But we know, Father, that when we come uh, into your house, when we lay down at your feet, that there is a word, there is a revelation that is going to come to us. So we open our lives, we open our hearts, we open our minds. Father, we ask uh, that you forgive us for all, from all our sins. Cleanse us and uh, allow your spirit to come and dwell in our our lives. Papa, n'a pas nous asseoir. Donc, on est les nôtres, les nôtres, les nôtres, toujours disposés, ou disponibles, ou voulez en toucher, non, ou voulez manger, non, ou voulez changer la vie, non, ou voulez porter une transformation. Mais Seigneur, tout autant nous pas ouvert que non, tout autant nous pas ouvert la vie, non, et bien, pas qu'il y a place pour asseoir. Parole ou dit, ou t'en a frappé, ou a frappé dans la porte là, si nous t'avons ouvert, ou a entré, ou a souper, ou a parlé avec nous. Lord, we ask God that we would open our hearts, we would we have the willing hearts, and and and, and, and on now, Father, we ask that you come. Uh, let your son Jesus come. Come into our hearts. Uh, come into our minds. Come into our, our being, Father. Let whatever was uh, of yesterday be gone. For the word tells us, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. The old has passed and now behold, everything is being made new. Father, we want uh, a renewed uh, a spirit within us uh, while we are yet young. Uh, but we know, Father, that you can call us at any time. It didn't matter whether we are 10, 5, 
five, uh, maybe we were 15, 18. It doesn't matter. You call people at all type of ages. And Father, we believe you're calling on the youth. You're calling on the uh, young adults. You're calling a generation that will go and change this world just like you call 12. You call 12 guys uh, and they were able to transform this world. They, gave, they, they received the message that you entrusted to them. They received the message of the kingdom. They knew, Father, that you love them. You show them uh, how much you care. You show them, Father, that uh, you are you were with them, even though they had different type of ideas. Uh, they thought the kingdom of God was going to be that of, of men weapons, men made weapons, but they didn't know that your kingdom was about love, a sound mind. It, it was about peace. Uh, it was about goodness, uh, uh, gentleness. Uh, it was about uh, taking care of others, loving God with all our hearts, mind, and soul, and that we would love our neighbors. Father, tonight we ask uh, that we would do something new in our hearts. Uh, Father, we pray that you would lift every burden uh, that is pressing us down, burden uh, of relationships uh, where we cannot get along with our loved ones. Uh, we don't understand them. They don't understand us. And so, Father, there has been uh, a wall created by the enemy to separate us to, uh, from understanding one another. Father, we pray that you give you, you enlighten our spirit. We pray, Father, that you shine your light uh, over the, the, the segment of the section uh, of darkness that has invaded our lives. Uh, we don't want to live uh, a life of confusion. We don't want to live a life of misery. But, Father, we know that in you there is life and abundance. We know that in you there is peace, there is joy, there is love. This is what we want to experience. I swear I see you know, record that like how you gain grace, like how you gain love more, like how you gain sagesse, like how you gain pardon. I swear I see you know, my Dieu, who can pas toucher chaque monde qui l'a, chaque monde qui pas 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 faire face avec une difficulté, une difficulté dans la relation. En plus, faut assez you know, record that et bien, famille nous, yo, yo pas bien, pas rien bon en tête, parce que you ne pas comprendre l'autre, et demi en lit travail, lit travail dans pensée non, lit travail sous émotion non, lit fait non pas comprendre, mon qui bon côté non, lit fait non pas comprendre, ah Seigneur nous chacun, nous des problèmes, nous des difficultés, mais si l'amour lit réel dans maison, eh bien après tête ensemble, bénédiction, la couler dans famille, la couler dans l'église, la couler dans communauté, ah Seigneur n'a pas demandé au Seigneur, vin toucher non, n'a pas demandé au Papa, porter une transformation, faire nous sembler avec petite là Jésus Christ. Non voulait sembler avec Christ, non voulait tendre là, non voulait toucher là, non voulait connaître là. Pas nous pas besoin yon monde continuer à dire non, même Jean nous lit dans parole là, nous réaliser grand pile monde qui était contre avec le Jésus t'a marché, lui parler, lui contre disciple, lui dit suivez moi, assurer ses volontairement, nous voulait suivre vous parce que nous connaissons la caillou qui est tout bon bagaille. Father, we thank you. We want to know you. Voluntarily we come we lay down our lives at your feet and we pray father that you receive us we understand lord we cannot remain kings of our lives so we surrender our wills we surrender our minds we surrender our stubbornness we open our hearts and we say come in come jesus live in me help me to see uh, the, 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 the destiny that you have for me Help us to see the plans that you have for our lives. Uh, this is uh, the declaration from Jeremiah 29. That you have a plan for each and every one. Father, we pray that you reveal that will before it's too late. We want to work for you. We want to serve you. We want to love you. We want to know you. We want to hear you. Father, we, we, we know in the word. It tells us if we believe, sign and wonders will, 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 will accompany, uh, accompany us. And Father, so many times we wonder, are you still alive? But the word tells us that you are the rewarder of those who totally trust you. Help us to trust you. Help us to put our faith in you. Uh, help us not to rely on our own selves. Uh, we, do have, we, we do not rely on our parents. Uh, we do not rely on the relationships that we have with the world. But we want to rely on you. The word tells us in our, out of Proverbs chapter 3, you will guide our path. So I pray for guidance. I pray for wisdom tonight. I pray, Father, for a new, a new heart, a purified heart, a sanctified heart where you can come and live. Seigneur, pas pousser nos Malgré infidélité, non. 
malgré les péchés, malgré tout ça nous fait. Alors là, Dieu toujours aimé nous. Assoyez, assoyez, nous demande de restaurer. Restaurer dans nous la joie, salut. Restore unto us the joy of your salvation. For we know at your feet there is joy. So bless us, O oh God. Father, we pray for those who are sick. We pray for those who are struggling with addiction. We pray, Father, for peace. We live in a confused world, in a troubled world. Your people need peace. After this pandemic, as we uh, uh, get through it, we want to thank you for holding us. We want to thank you for keeping us. We want to thank you for giving us life. Merci, Seigneur. Parce que continue à nous la vie à travers toutes difficultés, toutes problèmes, toute calamité, même la mort, pour montrer que vous toujours aimé nous, ou là ensemble avec nous. La mando toucher, bénir, restaurer, réparer le cœur qui troublé, penser ce qui agité, nous demander la paix pour vous. Seigneur, nous demander la paix pour le monde. Ça. We pray, Father. We pray for Ukraine. We pray for Russia. We pray for the United States. We pray for Haiti our homeland. We pray for peace. We pray for prosperity. We pray, Father, that this country will become again a haven where people can live at peace. Father, we pray for the whole world. We pray for the salvation of those who have not met Christ, for he came to die for all of us. And we pray that salvation will come into somebody's heart today, into somebody's house, For the world tells us your arms are always open. All we have to do, whatever burden is that we feel that are pressing upon us, just come and take it to you, and you will take care of us. Lord, we pray that goodness and mercy continue to follow us all the days of our lives, and that we will continue to give you praise, honor, and glory. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Before I go any further in worship, I just want to minister some things God's put on my heart. As I was going through last week, I had a lot of discouragement that hit me, a wave of discouragement that hit me really hard. Discouragement that hit me in the form of doubt, the, the form of just trying to give up. And I, sometimes when things happen to us personally, I, I, don't, I don't think it's just me. I feel like it's something that, you know, that, that's going on spiritually. That's not, it's not just me. And the way it hit me, I'm like, yo, this don't make no sense. Can I, can I be real with y'all? Can I be transparent? This don't make no sense. Sometimes we, we go day to day, like, you know, as, as a worship leader, you know, I have to, you know, help y'all. But, you know, sometimes we, in our private moments, we have down moments. And I just chose to pray. And I, I remember while I was in prayer, I remember, I'm like, I know there's a verse where it talks about, you know, taking refuge in God and, and all these things. And I'm like, you know, let me, let, me, let me look up the verse, you know? And so I found the verse, and then I found the chapter, and I found all the revelation that came through that chapter. And I just want to share that with you, because I think it's very, very, very relatable to the time that we're in. It's Psalm 91. It says, those who live in the shelter of the Most High will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I'm going to say that again. Those who live in the shelter of the Most High will find rest in the very shadow of the Almighty. This I declare about the Lord. He alone is my refuge, my place of safety. He is my God, and I trust him. Uh, come on. I, I charge some of you to trust him right now. It says, he alone is my refuge. Nothing else is my refuge my place of safety. He is my God and I trust him. For he will rescue you from every trap and protect you from deadly disease. He will cover you with his feathers. He will shelter you with his wings. His faithful promises are your armor and protection. I don't know what you've been believing for or what you started to doubt, but I just want to let you know that his promises will extend the very time on your life. He will extend. You will see more. Come on, let his promises be 
your protection and armor. It says, do not be afraid of the terrors of the night, nor the arrow that flies in the day. Do not dread the disease that stalks in darkness, nor the disaster that strikes at midday. Though a thousand fall at your side, though 10,000 are dying around you, these evils will not touch you. Just open your eyes and see how wicked, how the wicked are punished. If you make the Lord your refuge, if you make the Most High your shelter, no evil will conquer you. No plague will come near your home, for he will order your angels to protect you wherever you go. They will hold up, they will hold you up with their hands, so you won't even hurt your foot on a stone. You will trample upon lions and cobras. You will crush fierce lions and serpents under your feet. The Lord says, I will rescue those who love me. I will protect those who trust in my name. I'm going to say that again. I will rescue those who love me. I will protect those who trust in my name. Come on, y'all was just talking about how great his name is. I, uh, I hope y'all can say that with me. I will rescue those who love me. I will protect those who trust in my name. When they call on my name, I will answer. I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue and honor them. I will reward them with long, a long life and give them salvation. And this, this prayer and declaration I just put out during the week, and I, I pray that you receive it. It says, may the grace of Psalm 91 rest upon your life. May you find refuge and peace in his very name. May the shadow of God be your portion. May long life and salvation be your reward and his covenant promises your armor and protection. As plagues and of disease and terror roam the earth, May the Lord's angels protect you wherever you go, that no form of evil will touch you. Come on, say, no form of evil will touch me. Come on, I need some people that's going to believe that. No form of evil will touch me. Uh. For the Lord says, I will rescue those who love me. I will protect those who trust in my name. Come on, say hallelujah. hallelujah. Come on, say hallelujah. hallelujah. Come on, y'all don't hear y'all. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. I even planned this, but this song follows suit. Ah, if you know, sing. You have rescued my life. You have rescued my life. And I'm never going back. Yeah.
my Redeemer. Ah. Hallelujah. You are my rescuer. So I praise you. Say hallelujah. Yeah, you're, you're my redeemer. Come on, let him know you're my redeemer. Hallelujah. 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 I will exalt you. I choose to exalt you. Yeah. I will exalt you. Oh, you are my God. If you know, sing with me. I will. I will exalt you. Come on, we exalt you in this place. I will exalt you. Oh, I will exalt you, Lord. Sing with me. Hey, Kashi. Kashi. On Bazelu. On Bazelu. Kouvri nous, papa. Kouvri. En bas. En bas. Lève à l'eau. Lève à l'eau. Hey, my, 
Tonight, we're going to have a special minister to minister to us the word. I would like you to stand to receive the servant of the Lord. Would you please rise to receive the servant of the Lord? Um, you can keep standing. Um, it's not me. Um, it's, it's, it's my, my cousin, um, Todd. Like I said, tonight is going to be a crazy night. Um, like Pastor Samuel always say, expect the unexpected. And I believe that tonight, she will tell you something that will change your life. You won't leave the same. So, um, no further ado, Jay. It's for you, Ma. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everybody. You guys may all be seated. Um, during your worship, like, I was nervous back there. I was praying. I'm like, okay, God, what are you going to do? And then you said key words that's in my sermon. And what you're going through, it's funny just because, like, like I'm sitting back there. I'm like, okay, God, what are you going to do? I'm nervous. I speak fast. Like, what are you going to do? And you said promises. He said, trust. 
and you said peace. And I'm like, okay, God, like, you, you're working, you're doing your thing. Because as I'm sitting back there, peace came over me. Like, as we were praying back there, before we came, I'm like, okay, God, I've taught my kids before. I've taught the youth. Now I'm going to teach other people. What do you want? So before I start, I am very creative. I am big on demonstration. So I'm going to need four volunteers. The first two, I need them from each side. Like, I, you can't know each other. Like, everybody knows Andy, so Andy, you're going to be part of my second demonstration because everybody know you. You're everybody's cousin. So I'm going to need two people that don't know each other. Or I'm going to pick. <laughs> two people that don't know each other, okay? I'm going to blindfold you. <laughs> I'm going to blindfold you, Okay? I'm going to blindfold you. I'm in front of you. You can feel behind you, there's nobody behind you. This way? I'm in front of you, right? You can't see anything. You guys see I'm in front of her, right? There's nobody behind her. Right. Yeah, you're behind you in front of me. I'm right here. I promise you, I'm right here. There's nobody behind you. So I'm gonna need you to fall backwards. Huh? <laughs> so I'm gonna need you to I'm gonna need you to fall backwards. Now? Yes. Okay. All right, so this is the first part, right? Now the second part, I'm going to need Andy to come up here. I'm going to blindfold you. Like I said, there's a method to my madness, I promise. All right, so the first person, Chrissy, right? There was nobody behind her, but she still trusted me when I told her to fall backwards. I don't know why she did it, but she still trusted me. And I think that's because she knows who I am. She knows me. Andy trusted me because he said I was his cousin. But in order for him, in order for us, for him to have trusted me, he had to know me. This is one thing I want you guys to, sit, um, to think about. How many of you guys have traveled on the airplane? Who is going to have you déjà? No mute avion. Is que je demande mon cap quand il avion? His qualifications. Is que is que nous jump well essentially. Mais nous fiel, right? Gère pas faire le mute avion. Lui beaucoup même déplacer dormir dans une. On est dormi. Let me leave me me we say I think get that theory, right? I I have enough trust in him. Ba kon kote jwen licence li, ba kon kote la l'école. I don't even know if his um, qualifications are valid, but I trust him. This is another scenario. I'm a people watch. When I tell you I people watch, I will people, I will tell you what you have on. I mean, I'm that person. I'm not, listen, sometimes I'm nosy, okay? But sometimes I'm like, why is this person doing this? And there's one person I'm going to talk about. I already asked for his permission. I spend all my time with him, and that's my uncle. My uncle is the calmest person. I'm telling you, this man, you can tell him that you can tell him that the world's on fire. He's gonna have a smile on his face, and I'm like, why? Why? Like, why are you acting this way? Like, I remember when we first got the news that my grandma was sick. 
I was freaking out. I was crying. This man was like, you know what? God's in charge. I'm like, wait, pause. I understand that, but like, I'm crying. I'm thinking the worst scenario. This man is calm, cool, and collected. And then I started watching him. I started, I started watching his routine. When I tell you this man prays breakfast, lunch, and dinner, ain't no joke. I'm telling you, it would be 5 o'clock in the morning. For some, like, I wake up early because I'm in the army. I, I have PT. I will find this man praying. I will find this man listening to worship music. I will find this man spending time with God. He will spend time with God. And as I, as I started to notice him, I'm like, okay, why are you doing this? And I ask a lot of questions. When I, I'm that kid that will raise, a, I will raise my hand. Why, why, why does one plus one equal two? Why can't it equal three, right? I asked him so many questions. Uncle Pete would have different versions of the same verse on on his desk. Why? What are, you, what are you getting out of it, right? And the more I started watching him, the more I realized he was developing his relationship with God. He was getting to know God, right? Like, sometimes you have tests. I be thinking, sometimes, like, when I procrastinate, I'm like, Lord, please help me get an A, knowing I didn't study. If I don't study the material, how am I going to pray for an A? I have to know the material, right? Uncle P knows God. But in order for you to know God, you have to spend time with him. And not the regular spend time with him. I pray for two minutes and I'm done. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about intentionally spending time with God. As I, was, as I was preparing for this sermon, I'm like, okay, God, what do you want me to talk about? I know our theme is peace. But the question is, how do you get to peace? How do I get to the person that created peace if I don't know the person? I can't say Jeremiah 29 if I don't know the verse, if I don't read my Bible intentionally. As you continue reading the Bible, I'm telling you, this man has so many promises for you. When I tell you he has so many promises for you, Psalm 32, verse 8 says, So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Sorry, I kind of messed up. I read the, uh, the wrong verse, but that was Isaiah 41, verse 10. His, um, Psalm 32 was, I will instruct you and teach you the way you should go. This man literally has the blueprint out for you. But if I don't read my Bible, if I don't spend time with him, how am I going to get to know him? If Andy didn't spend time with me and didn't know me as a person, he wouldn't have trusted that I was going to be behind to catch him. Chrissy wouldn't have done that. But the question is, how do you spend time with God? How do you get to know the person that said, I will not, I will not leave nor forsake you? This man literally said, I know the plans I have for your life. But if I don't spend time with him, if I don't read his word, how do I, know, how do I, how do I get the answers to the test? And God's a jealous God. He, don't play, he is not playing games. He is not playing by his time. But he's the one person that says, you know what? I will not leave you nor forsake you. And I keep repeating that just because that is very, very, very strong. That is very important. Like, being in the army, I promise, I, won't, I remember one, when I first was shipped off to basic training, I didn't have Uncle P next to me. I didn't have my dad. I was crying. I'm like, God, how am I going to get through this? I, I was forced to get to know God. And I don't want that for you guys. I want you guys to spend time with him intentionally. He doesn't ask for much. He does not ask for much. When the devil starts to creep in, how am I going to know what verses to counter him? When fear starts to creep in, how am I going to know that God said he would not leave me nor forsake me? How will I know that he has my back through it all? He split the Red Sea for Moses. He split the Red Sea to get Moses through. He's, his promise said he's going to get me through it. He said he has my back through and through. In Isaiah 51, I'm Isaiah 54, verse 17, it says, no weapon, no weapon that has been made used against me will succeed. You will have an answer for anyone who, accus who accuses you. This is the inheritance of Yahweh's servant. Their victory comes from me. It is written that no weapons formed against me shall prosper. 
But in order for me to know that, I have to be intentional about spending time with him. And there are many ways you can do that. There's, some, there's one thing that my friends make fun of me. I will go on a Jesus date. I will go to IHOP by myself, put my phone, do not disturb, and read his word. Talk to him about my fears, the stuff that are creeping in, because he already knows it. But the thing is, he wants us to have that relationship with him. He wants us to form that bond with him. Because at the end of the day, when Mike is not there, when I can't call Mike and, and fear starts to creep in, I'm like, okay. In Jeremiah 29, it says, no, for I know the plans I have for you. He says that I got, he, he literally tells you, I have you. Do not fear. I have your back. But this is the thing. To feel and to know are two different things. To know is to be aware of the truth, factuality. It's to have a relationship. Knowing doesn't change. You don't, when you know something, you know it's facts. Feel operation operates on feeling, on sensation. Feeling comes and goes, but knowing is concrete. When I know God is for me, when I know he has my back, the devil could do whatever he wants to do. But I know that God has my back. I know that when I come to him, my answers will be prayed, will be answered. It might not be on my time, but his timing is never wrong. He is the author of time. My father is the author of time. Who am I to rush him? He knows what's going to happen tomorrow. If I wake up and I'm running late, he knows the reason why. But when I feel, I don't feel like praying. That comes and goes. But, what, but I know the truth. The devil will tell you, with that one, you can, you can decipher both voices because Jesus is calm. He's reassuring. He's loving. The devil will tell you, will instill fear. God is a God of discipline. I want you guys to remember that. God is a God of discipline. He is calming. He is reassuring. He is loving. When I tell you, feeling, feeling his presence around you, it is the most amazing thing ever. Being in training by myself when I don't have my church family, knowing that God has my back, knowing that he's going, whether I'm in battle or I'm here, he's already prepared. He already, he's, he's prepared me with the peace. I have peace to know that no matter what circumstances, if they send me to Ukraine today, I have peace that God has my back, that he will protect me because I know his word. I have that relationship with him. I have that deep connection with him. To know God is to spend quality time to read and to understand, to to build that personal connection. This man says, seek, and he will answer. If you you ask him for bread, he will not give you a stone. We are his kid. He is in us. We are in him. He is peace. So the fact that he is in me, I have peace. But I have to acknowledge it. I have to know the concrete words. I I have to have those as tools. Before I go to training, they always make sure we have three magazines that have 30 what, bullets in them. I have to assure I can clean this weapon inside and out because I know if the enemy comes to attack, I know what weapon to use. The question is, what weapon are you going to use? Are you going to stick to feeling? Or are you going to build that relationship so you, can, so you know that God has your back, that will, that will then lead to peace. He, has, he is peace. Like, I don't think you guys, I don't know if, I'm not sure if you guys are understanding, but it's like, God has my back through it all. Like, this week has been a rough week. It has been filled with tears for me. And every time I spoke to Uncle P about it, he is calm, cool, and collected. This man does not worry about anything because he has peace. But the reason why he has peace is because he he knows who his father is. He knows that his God would never leave him. He created me. So, I know you have my back. 
the Lord himself goes before you and will be with you, who will never leave nor forsake you. He said, do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. It is one thing to read the Bible. It is another thing to have a personal connection, to know him in order to spend time with him. Like I said, be intentional about it. If you're going to spend time with him, don't have any distractions. Let it be you and him. Seek him like you're seeking a relationship. Because when you're trying to get to know somebody, you will, do every, you will send good morning text messages. You will send good night text messages. You will, you, will check up, you will check up on them throughout the day, trying to ask them what their favorite color is, what their favorite food is, because you're trying to get to know that person. Let's use that energy towards him. Let's get to know God on a deeper level so that whenever the enemy tries to sneak in, you know what verses to use. You know his promises. You know that God has your back. Another thing, ask questions. And when I tell you Google is my best friend, Google and Pastor P. I will ask Uncle P a thousand questions in different forms. Use different translations. You, there's New Living Translation. There's NIV. There's different translation. Get to know who he is. Put it into action. Put it into application. Talk to somebody about it. Call your friend up. Hey, Andy, this is what I just learned. What do you think about this? Let's, let's go back and forth. Build that relationship with him so that when the devil tr- comes and tries to distract you or bring negativity, I know the promises that God has for me. I can counter what the enemy will say. I will be able to attack him with what I know, not what I feel. This man says he knows, he, this man says he knows the plans. God said he knows the plans that he has for my life, plans for me to prosper, but in order for me to trust him, I have to know him. When fear strikes to creep in, I have to be able to remind myself that I'm no longer a slave to fear because I am his child. He got me. He has my back even if I don't understand it. He has my best interest in mind. I have to remember, même j'en l'étais fan la main rouge pour me rester passé. Et comme ça, la fan la main rouge pour me passer. There are many times that you will not have your friends next to you. There's going to be times where I cannot call Christy up and tell her, hey, can you pray for me? But if I have that relationship with God, I'm going to come to him before I go to anybody else. I'm going to call him before I call anybody else. He's going to help me handle the solution. So let's rebuke fear or any distraction that may stray us from the main goal, which is getting, what is getting to peace through getting to know God and his promises. Thank you. I'm no longer a slave to fear. Come lay your fears at his feet. This is time where you guys can come on. I am a child. This is altar call. Come to him. Come lay your fears at his feet. I'm no longer a slave to fear. I am a child. Of God, say with me, I'm no longer, I'm no longer a slave. I am, I am a child of God. I'm no longer, I'm no longer a slave. Child, I am a child. Oh, I'm no longer, no longer a slave to fear. Oh, I am, I am.
Show me. You split the sea. You split the sea so I could walk right. My fears are drowning, perfect. My fears are drowning, perfect. You rescued me so I could stand in the sea. You rescued me. I just want you, I just want to say one last thing. I don't know if y'all know this, but I believe that God's been trying to push to certain people tonight. From the beginning, I believe he's trying to get some of you to, to see him in another dimension. At the beginning, I was saying, come on, say what the Lord has revealed himself to you. And I don't know if you had something to say, but at this point, I do feel like God is literally trying to show himself in a new light to you. He's trying to have you learn a new aspect of himself. So even with tonight, yes, with peace, we're looking for peace. We need peace. And he has peace. But also when we dwell in the shadow of the most high, once you understand the depth of who he is, he, we say, once you understand, when you say you are a child of God, you have to understand what God you're talking about. So come on, when you out of here, when you go back to your, your, your regular life, take some time and know who he is. Because when troubles and storms come your way, you won't have to look to anyone else. But you once you know who God is, you could literally stand here and sing, I am a child of God, and not see it as just a few words. But it has depth, it has revelation. May God bless you. I'm no longer a slave to fear. I am a child of God. I'm no longer. I'm no longer a slave to fear. I am a child. I I'm no longer I'm no longer a slave to fear I am a child I am a child of God I'm no longer a slave to fear I am a child I don't know how many of you have dealt with fears. Fears of failure, fears of defeat, fear of what tomorrow will bring. If you ever feel afraid, I want to invite you to, to stand and we're going to pray. And afterward, we'll have communion. If you have fears that even when you go to sleep, you're afraid of the dreams you may have. 
sometimes when you have those dreams you can't fall asleep anymore sometimes you have fears of even going to the streets but we want you to know that the Lord is there with you you can conquer your fears it's true you can conquer your fears and you conquer your fears through faith when you have faith in God when the relationships that you have they're going upside down you're wondering what tomorrow will bring fears there's someone who's there to help you throughout these fears so let us pray father we thank you once more because we trust you we depend on you the word tells us cast our cares upon you and you will take care of us father tonight we pray for those who are dealing with different types of fears fears of being sick fears of failing classes fears of being rejected fears of failure father we pray that the spirit of god the spirit of knowledge the spirit of wisdom would come upon us the word tells us when he comes he will minister to us he will be a counselor to us father we pray that you would help each and everyone who is dealing with some type of fears sometimes the fear gets so bad people uh, 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 start panicking but we know that you you give peace jesus says i i give you peace I do not give it to you like the world does for well, the world gives temporal peace but your peace is permanent and eternal father we ask for peace in the name of jesus we come against the spirit of fear we come against the negative voices that be speaking in our ears that troubles our minds father we come against we, we resist the devil we resist the devil and his schemes in the name of jesus we take the helmet of salvation to protect our minds. And we ask, oh God, that you do a work in our lives, in our hearts, in our minds, in our souls. Detoxify our soul from past experiences. Allow us to identify the voice of the enemy and go back to the promises that you have made to us and know that we can count on you day and night you will never leave us forsake us you will not fail us with god we cannot fail because you, you you have given christ the victory and he rules over every power dominions kingdoms he's above all and because he died and rose from the dead and now he's alive interceding for us we don't have to be afraid father we ask tonight again that you would communicate to us even when we leave this place the love that you have for us the word tells us love casts out all fears help us to know that you love us that you care for us and that you thought of us we don't have to be slave to fear but we can embrace the love that you have for us and walk in victory we thank you we praise you we honor you for the peace that is coming into our being at this hour in jesus name in jesus name glory to your name and now we know that there were some of us who did not have a chance uh, to participate in communion this morning and those who would like to do so um, Pastor Samuel is going to come forward um, and he will serve you so that we may have communion together I'm no longer a slave to fear I am 